Welcome back to the Breaking and Kintsugi Repair of Stone series. This week we're going to talk about Labradorite. Now Labradorite is commonly known for the flashes of color like you can see here as the stone moves through light. Um, it can come in various colors sort of from this olive green to a much more blue or purple. I've even seen it somewhat gray in color um, but its common characteristic is this flash of light. Um, Labradorite itself is a member of the feldspar mineral family, which makes up about 41% of the Earth's continental crust by weight. Now, feldspars are what's known as tectosilicate materials. Tectosilicate materials come in three different forms. There's potassium feldspar, albite, which has sodium, and anorthite, which has calcium. So among feldspars, there's a smaller group known as plagioclase minerals, which is Labradorite's one of these. Um, and plagioclase minerals are a mix of about 30 to 50 percent albite and 50 to 70 percent anorthite, meaning they're a mix of that sodium and calcium form. So at high temperatures, these two different structures are compatible and they mix well. But as the temperature gets lower and the actual stone forms, those two separate into layers. And in, once they're in the layers, refracted light travels at different speeds through those different layers and comes out at different wavelengths. And that is what gives what's known as the flash, like you see here, which is actually called Labrador Essence. Um, so Labrador Essence um, comes from those different layers um, of the albite with sodium and the anorthite with calcium that exist as the mineral forms. So obviously, depending on the percentage of the two, that's going to affect the color. It's also going to affect how much flash you get and where you get the flash in the stone. But that's where it comes from. So let's go ahead and break this stone and then we'll come back and take a look at how this one breaks and what it does for the flash. And here's what we get after breaking it. Um, you can see we still get some of the flash. I'm not sure how well that shows up um, on the video, but we still get flash even in the pieces. Um, I've even seen it a bit in some of these little tiny pieces. Um, as you look at the edge, you can see it tends to have a rather uneven look, but that's mixed with some conchoidal uh, breakage here as well. So that's, again, typical. It's that mix of uneven plus conchoidal. Um, some of the breakage you can see here is really teeny tiny. Other bits um, are a bit larger, somewhat like we would see in quartz. Um, but... The amount of breaking can make this a bit of a challenge to put some of these back together just because there are so many little pieces. Um, let's get this at least close, hopefully. like a lot of what we lost in these pieces all go here in this center cavity um, so we may or may not be able to get that all back in there um, as we put it together but if nothing else we can fill that fairly well um, we do have some missing little pieces here at some of the meeting points that we'll have to see what we can do with um, but we do still have a fair amount of that flash along this edge um, that we saw before, so that has been retained on the back. If I can flip it, looks fairly similar to the way it did before. The back was a little bit rougher than the front. Um, let's get this put back together and see how much I can get back in there, and we will go from there. And here's what we get after repair. As you'll see, we did wind up with a large area of repair in the middle. 
I did get a few of the pieces back in there, but they sunk into the repair mixture. I couldn't get them to stay on the surface. So they do help stabilize things, but they're not visible from the surface. But you can see the Labradorescent flash um, is still there, um, still nice and shiny, particularly there on the right side of the stone. It's a little bit down there at the bottom as well. The back has less repair um, and also less of the Labradorescence, um, but it is still there a little bit again over here on this side of the stone. So to see this final piece or any of the other Kintsugi repaired stone items, please visit our shop at akintsugilife.com. Thanks for joining us.